Hello viewers, the title of this video is, it says it on the screen right here, James May reacts to AI versions of himself. Um, AI, as you probably know, can't just come up with something out of the blue, it needs prompts. The prompts have been supplied by Lucy Brown, who is just out of shot, sitting over here. She's going to read out what the prompts were, and then I'm going to press the magic button and see the picture that resulted. So, Lucy, your first prompt, please. A shot of James May with shoulder length hair making a gin and tonic. Okay, and I press the down button and I will see the result of that yes. from artificial intelligence. A lot of it about. That's disgusting. I don't look like that, do I? No, it's not a great representation. I look like an alcoholic as well, let's be honest, I've got a red face, okay. Next slide. Do you not slide, think please. the body looks a little bit like Clarkson's? Well, the belly isn't big enough, but I know what you mean, the proportions. It's disturbing. Yes, next slide, please. A shot of TV presenter James May with shoulder length hair in the style of younger artist. A younger artist. I think it's an artist called Younger. It's a very strange way of wording it. It was how Google told me to do it. So you look up on Google how to do a prompt for an AI generation of me. For this one, yes, because I wanted it to look in a specific style. OK, I'm going to press the down button. Well, that just doesn't look like me. It's not great. In fact, they don't even look like each other. There's four images, and they're, no. <laughs> Next. A shot of James May with shoulder length hair in front of a plane background. Plane as in aeroplane, or plane as in P-L-A-I-N? I. Okay. Me with shoulder length hair in front of a plane background. Here we go. That was not, I don't understand this, because surely if AI trawls the web and finds out who James May is, can't it just come up with a picture of me? Why does it? Because that sort of looks a bit like me, but not quite. I think it, it must kind of know who you are, but it obviously can't sort of imitate you perfectly. It's given me better teeth, um, but fatter cheeks, and again, the, the red glow of a rabid alcoholic. <laughs> is there something I don't know? I'm not sure, it's, it's not great. It's terrible. Ultimately, is the purpose of this that AI can simply replace me when I retire? You can just have a, should you want one? Maybe one day. I, don't, plotting, I definitely Lucy? don't think that that day is here yet, um, at least based off that picture. Unless that becomes me and then people say to me, you look a bit like that AI James May. Next slide, please. A shot of James May with shoulder length hair holding a bottle of gin. The reason, by the way, I keep saying with shoulder length hair is because it kept giving you no hair. Okay, holding a bottle of gin. Well, that looks like I did in the last one with deformed features, the alcoholic glow and better teeth. And the bottle of gin is absolutely gigantic. It's about three litres. <laughs> uh, next slide, please. A shot of James May with shoulder length hair holding a pint. It's going to be this face with a massive pint, isn't it? Yes, it is. That looks a bit more like me, but it still doesn't. See, I've got my eyes are too close together and too near the top of my head. It's like someone who's drawn a picture but doesn't know the basic rules of proportion for the human face, i.e. the eyes are actually in the middle of the head. Yeah, it's, what? I think they are getting better though. Plus the... <laughs> the beer in the glass isn't horizontal, so it also defies gravity. It's artificial gravity as well as artificial intelligence. It's just nonsense. Okay, next. A shot of James May with shoulder length hair in front sitting at a bar in a British pub. I obviously didn't type that in in English. Right, so this could be interesting. So 
I'll be in that bar in Star Wars. Here we go. Well, it's just the same bloody picture. Chubby cheeks, alcoholism, hairs too, it's just awful. And the glasses, it's like a pint pot, but with a stem. <laughs> do you think we're going to get to a point where there's a picture that you think actually looks like you? Or do you think they're all going to be like this? I think they're all going to be the same, but let's keep going, because I'm curious. I also think everybody's terrified of AI, but from what I've seen of it so far, it's bollocks. Because when people say, oh, write, write a poem in the style of WB Yeats, it comes out with stuff you wouldn't put in a birthday card. And when it tries to write a review of the Dacia Sandero, it always ends up by going, so there you have it, the new Dacia. It's just awful drivel that wouldn't get past any editor. So I'm not, I'm not scared of it. Not yet. It's funny, but anyway, so the next is a shot of James May with shoulder length hair playing with a whip and top. No, it's different, and I quite like the next one. It is a shot of James May wearing a hat with shoulder length hair in the style of an oil painting. An oil painter, that's pretty broad. In a hat with shoulder length hair. Is it going to give the hat shoulder length hair? Um, so basically it's looked at a couple of Rembrandts and De Hoogs and that sort of thing. And then just put my face in it, except it's not my face because I've still got alcoholism <laughs> and a lazy eye. It's slightly better. The shape of my chin is wrong and, the, and my mouth is wrong and my eyes are too close together, and one of them's got something wrong with it. But apart from that, it's a fabulous likeness. Do you not think the hat suits you? Yeah. I think it does. I like the look of that jacket as well. It is quite Frankly. a good look. OK, I'll go for that. OK, the next one. A cinematic wide shot of a 55-year-old man, James May in brackets, with shoulder-length shoulder hair, facing the camera in a futuristic spaceship in space. <laughs> right. OK. I'm ready. So, futuristic, so it's, it's almost like a movie poster. That's what I'm hoping for. That's not what the prompt on here says. It says, in a vineyard on a summer's day. I must have forgotten to take a photo of that one. Well, I'll read you this one. It says, a wide shot of 55-year-old man with shoulder-length grey hair facing the camera in a vineyard on a summer's day. Now, it is a vineyard. It would appear to be a summer's day. My shoulder-length hair only comes to my ears. And it doesn't look, I mean, my nose is enormous and one of my shoulders is dislocated. And I have breasts. But apart from that, it's great. What's the next one? <laughs> OK, the next one is a cinematic wide shot of James May with shoulder length grey hair facing the camera in a futuristic spaceship in space. I can't wait. <laughs> That's so feeble. I was hoping for, you know, like an interstellar type shot. No, I haven't got shoulder length hair. Still doesn't look like me. And I would appear to just be in a in one of the Heathrow Terminal 5 pods. It's not a spaceship in space. That's such bollocks. It's like graphic artists are worried about this stuff and they really don't need to be. Next one. Mm -hmm. A wide shot of James May with shoulder length grey hair facing the camera in a gin distillery. In a gin distillery. Here we go. So. <laughs> That's, it's got a strange idea of shoulder length. That's collar length. It still doesn't look like me. I've still got something wrong with my eyeballs. I've still been on the source since 6 a.m. And there's nothing to say that's a gin distillery. I guess the shiny vats in the background. Well, there's just sort of shiny noise in them. It's, you know. Yeah, not great. Next one. Mm -hmm. A wide shot of James May with shoulder length grey hair facing the camera in a bright bar with bottles on the shelves behind him. <laughs> Did that. See, that's not shoulder length. That's why I kept. You keep laughing at me of why I've put it in all the prompts, but it doesn't seem to get it, even when I do put it in. 
And it's starting to look less like me. Mm. No. It does make you realise that the, 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 the means by which you identify your friends and loved ones and so on are very subtle, because you change a face very slightly and it becomes completely different, which is why you never see two people who look alike or you're amazed when you see someone who does look like someone else. Um, OK, next problem, please. Yeah, I think this one's the best by far. A 55-year-old man with shoulder-length grey hair in the style of the Laughing Cavalier. No, you got the first bit right. A wide shot of a 55-year-old James May with shoulder-length grey hair facing the camera in a bright bar with bottles on the shelves behind him. So pretty much the same prompt as the last picture. What was different? Oh, you've put James May in this time. Oh, it's, it's terrible. That doesn't look like me. I've still got, still got the chubby cheeks, still got the alcohol problem. And that's not shoulder length. I think that one really looks like you. Balls. It's got the beard and everything. Yeah, but it's not my face. Does it, has anybody else seen these on the crew? Does anybody have an opinion? I think it looks like you. <laughs> yeah, there's something there, yeah. Do you not think that looks like you? I hope it doesn't look like me, is what I'm saying. Can I just check you're looking at the right picture? Yeah, you are. That looks just like you. I mean, it looks more like me than the other ones, but it's still not quite right. Ah. Oh. Well, I, I thought that was a pretty good picture. Yeah, you can have that one then, as a souvenir. Thank you. That is the last one. Thank God for that. Thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry we've wasted your time. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell us in the comments if you think that that last one looks like James May, because I think it does. But now you've loaded the question slightly by saying that you think it does. Do you think the last one looks like James May? Do you think we should be worried about AI, or is it all just a big laugh and computer code is getting carried away? Is it a bit like the self-driving car? I, it's not really happening. Let us know in the comments.